I thought I had enough silent princesses. I don't. Uh -huh. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to have to go back up to Tory Mountain now and find myself a few oh. more silent princesses. Oh. Joy of joys. There we go. Right. <laughs> Bye. Right. Oh, yeah, the the thing is they had more time to develop. I'll give you that. But if it <laughs> If they started in 2006, then they would have been building on 2006 technology, unless they scrapped everything partway through and then they built it up with new technology, in which case they didn't have that long to do it. It's because Oblivion wasn't graphics focused. I wouldn't say Skyrim was particularly graphics focused either. <laughs> it had good graphics, but graphic nobody was looking at Skyrim and saying, wow, it's so realistic. A lot of people are going with Skyrim just because of the fact that the world, just the sheer amount of world building, the music, and the, at least the combat mechanics. Well, maybe not the combat mechanics, but certainly the music in the game, the story would definitely held true to that. And just the sheer vast, the vastness of Skyrim, where you had all these caves and etc, 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 etc. Um, right, I need silent princesses for that. I need to go back up to Glory Mountain. I only need four. Four silent princesses isn't going to break the bank, or at least break my sanity any worse than it already is broken. So we should be able to get away with this one. And after that, <laughs> on to the next set, which is uh, Luminous Stone Farming. I think there's a lot of Luminous Stone in Zora's Domain, but I could be mistaken. I shall do some research. Um. Tell you what, let's save myself a bit of time as well. Uh, we'll load in Silent Princesses into the channel. Aha! Island princesses? Good silent princess. Another that takes us to seven. Four. Right. Also, you have to remember the absolute masterpiece, Knights of the Old Republic 2, was made by Obsidian. Uh, yeah. Yes. Though I've never played Knights of the Old Republic. One or two. So. <laughs> I'll take your word. I'll t I've, I've heard good things of it. And I'll take your word of it being a masterpiece, but yeah, I, I reserve judgments on how great it is until I actually get around to playing it. Hello again! There we go, and that is the last of the Sheikah stuff. Good luck getting Knights of the Old Republic to run on a modern system if you want to play it. <laughs> well.
I mean, oh. I could try and do some of the workarounds. I'm sure there's plenty of workarounds online. And if all else fails, I could just emulate it in a virtual machine. <laughs> That onto the water. Bye. Bye. Right, uh, so what's our next armor set upgrade? We've just done the Sheikah. Don't play it on a modern system. Oh, okay then. Maybe I won't play Knights of the Old Republic 2 then. It will just be a mystery unto time for me. Right, that's the Sheikah gear done, so now we must move on to the Radiant gear, of which we... Oh! We only need to upgrade, okay, right, so how many Luminous Stone do we have? Thirteen. And we only need one Lionel Guts. Okay, so we just need ten more Luminous Stone. Doesn't sound too or too bad, does it? Right, okay, so... Oh, wait a minute. However, I can... Oh, wait, or... Uh, or... Oh. Bother. Right. Luminous Stone. I was going to use the Sheikah Scanner. Ah. Oh. Oh! No! No! I can use the Sheikah Scanner! <laughs> right, marbles. Okay. Uh, right, back to the map. That would be a good place for Luminous Stone. I'm thinking... Zora's Domain or Death Mountain. Also, here's Eugene. I'm going to say use a virtual machine. All that. Uh, oh, you don't have an old Xbox. No, I used to collect... Ver uh, I was going to say virtual consoles then. I used to collect retro consoles, and the Xbox was certainly on the list. I just never got round to buying one, to be honest. Um, well, if you don't have an Xbox, you'll have to find some way to play it on a computer. I don't know how well it runs on Switch, though, since it was released for that. Wait, they released Knights of the Old Republic for Switch? Huh, cool. And I don't know either. But in fairness, I'd probably just try and play it on PC. Right, somebody hasn't done a remake or a mod version of it. Um, what was I doing? Oh, right, yes, I was looking for luminous stone farming. A remake is coming. Fair enough. Um, well, maybe. I suppose I could probably play the remake. I mean, I've never played Final Fantasy VII and I've played the remake. I really need to get around to replaying the remake on the channel, to be honest. I'm not happy with my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake the way I originally did it. Maybe I'll just have to live with it. Um, luminous stones are useful for clothing upgrades. I know that is... Uh, Zora Domain, exchange for diamonds. Yes, that's... My best place is probably around Zora's Domain. There's also Luminous Zone, Salises, and a lot of other things. Okay, cool, right, so we are looking for Zara's Domain. There's Zara's Domain. Let's go up and see Mifa. I don't know when, but it sort of exists. Fair enough. It depends if Bioware wants to stick with it, though. That's the thing. I mean, with the state Bioware's in at the minute? Well, we'll see. That said, they have just announced a new Dragon Age, of which at least Twitter vented its collective spleen over, so I can only assume that Dragon Age, the, the, that will, if they do a good job with that, then it's going to make them a lot of money. Once again, Dragon Age is never a series that I actually got very into.
I mean, I've never played any of the others. I've I played some of Dragon Age Inquisition, and then I got to a point where my game was glitched and it wouldn't work properly anymore. So I said, well, well, I'll leave it for a bit. I'll come back later when they've patched it. And I never got around to playing it again. I think I also screwed up something and people died and I found out later that I could have saved them and I gave up at that point. That was annoying. Uh, my worry is the dev... Uh, the worry is... All the dev importance will be lost in Dragon Age and it will be half assed remake of Knights of the Old Republic. Eh, uh, fair enough. Yes. Entirely possible. Well, I said open bridge then. Um... Right, different strategy. <laughs> There's also the remakes of Mass Effect coming out there, which will also be interesting. If they screw up Mass Effect 2, I'm not going to be happy. Mass Effect 2 is one of my favourite games. I have played that game so many times. Oh. Well, I found the ore. Pretty big order pop, to be honest. Ah, of which he only gave me one ore. That's annoying. Ah, all your fruit now belong to me. All your meat now belong to me. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing either. Have you ever played Minecraft? Oh, I played a lot of Minecraft back in my college days, yeah. It's been a long time since I've played Minecraft, but yeah, I've played Minecraft before. Everyone played Minecraft. I was... I, mean, I remember when Minecraft hit it big. So about this luminous stone, um, da, 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 da. and will EA allow Bioware full use of the engine? They didn't ramp them, and Andromeda as well. Uh, and well, we know what happened there. Well, the problem is, at least with Anthem, is that it was Frostbite, and Frostbite is not an R designed for RPGs. Frostbite is designed for first-person shooters. They think, oh, okay, fair enough, well, you can retool the engine. Well, apart from the complexities involved in retooling a game engine, you also have to consider that all of the stuff that was available for Anthem, uh, all of the, the, Frost, uh, the Frostbite devs for Anthem, were suddenly taken off and put onto the FIFA game. 
Oh, well, onto the latest FIFA. Because that's the big cash cow. And they decided that Frostbite was going to be used for FIFA as well. Once again, Frostbite is not designed for RPGs. <laughs> or football games. So, I heavens knows what EA were thinking. They indeed entirely they should really use something like Unity or heck they make it their own variant of Frostbite first, but evidently that's not allowed. Oh, got some arrows, that's nice. That they were slightly top of the goblins than usual. Right. Why does this keep telling me there's Luna Stone around here? Oh. I'm just gonna move out of the this area and see if I can find some around here. Oh, and there's a lot of loss. Of course there is. You should play Minecraft again. They had tons of new updates and such. Fair enough. I mean, I, I they have had a lot of updates, but at the same time, I've just got no drive to play Minecraft again. I've got so many other games on the list that I want to get through that Minecraft just... Yeah, nah, I should be alright. Okay. Right, because I'm now getting bored of running around looking for this, let's try going... Somewhere else. How about here? They've improved it so much. Well, it wasn't a bad game when I played it originally. I used to play it with some friends. I think it's got a, more of a story mode to it now, so I could. There's potentially that. If if I've got a massive gap and I, then I will probably play it. But at the same time, Minecraft seems like I don't know. It seems like it'd be a pretty big game to tackle. So I'm most certainly not doing it after Breath of the Wild. I can tell you that much. Um. They wanted the cash cow and it looks as shiny... Oh, right, so I'm guessing this is with Anthem. Uh, they wanted the cash cow and it looks as shiny as possible. And because Battlefront looked shiny, they probably thought it could translate. Yep, that's pretty much what you get when you have man middle managers in charge. Right? Well, you, have, you listen to the management rather than you listen to your dev team. This direction. Yes. Okay, then. Um, I'll go back to that tower. There's no story mode in Minecraft, but there are bosses. There's tons of achievements in it. Fair enough, but I usually just play... I play for story. I play Minecraft just to relax. Also, fair enough. Okay, so back to the hunt for the luminous stone. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. It isn't. Is it in this chest? No, it isn't. It's just arrows, right? There we go. He's dead. Maybe you could play Fallout 3 next. Uh, if I could get it working, maybe, but in fairness, after 300 hours of 
well, maybe 200 hours of Breath of the Wild, probably 300 hours by the time we finish this Let's Play. I think I'm going to aim for something a bit smaller, considering the game... Ah, there we go. Considering the game after... Uh, the next big game on our list is Yakuza Kiwami 2. And for those of you, for those here who have joined me for the Yakuza playthroughs, everyone can probably guess why I want a smaller game to play before I tackle Yakuza Kiwami. That 900 seeds is looking pretty amazing. I know. I had six months it took us to get those 900 seeds. <laughs> six months. And we're still not finished. This game is vast. It has so much to do if you want to do everything. If I wasn't insisting on doing a completionist run of this, we would have already gone to fight Ganon at this point. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> All right, let's try that again, but this time without getting lost like an idiot. If we take that bridge, we can go across and up. I'm thinking. That dam is fast. I mean, the dams are generally fast, but that's, that's a particularly fast dam. Fallout 1 isn't that long, you could play that. Well, Fallout 1 isn't that long unless you, I suspect, if you try and do what I... I try, I try and 100% it, and I don't know what the 100% criteria would be for Fallout 1, but... You, maybe. I will be back. Fair enough. Do you have a list of games you want to play on the channel? Well, there's the Yakuza franchise, so there's those. One day I'm going to replay Metro Exodus, uh, well, I'm going to replay Metro Exodus just in general because that's from what, the early days of the channel and I'm, I don't know, that's another one that I wasn't too happy about my playthrough on. I might replay that, but it's coin toss. certainly want to revisit, I certainly want to revisit, um, think of me, but, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's definitely on the list somewhere down the line, maybe, possibly. Uh, Portal 1 and 2 I want to play. Deathloop I want to play. Astral Chain I want to play. Oh god, I only need to look over my shoulder to look at my Switch games. Um, da -da 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 -da. Hades. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity I suppose I need to play at some point. Um, Mario Odyssey. If I, if I sat down and put, made a list of games I want to play, I'd probably be able to come up with something to keep me entertained for year, for the next 10 years just on what I already own. But yeah, the main ones I'm focusing on at the moment are definitely the Yakuza games. I want to get them out of the way. Oh, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 as well. 
I have those, thanks to the amazing last minute continue. So I really should play them at some point. Oh, the Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. That's also on the list. Uh, not sure if it would be on the channel. I want to give um, Final Fantasy fourteen the MMO, a try at some point. That would have to be very much a college try of, say, a month of streaming it, and then I'll figure out where to go from there, because I'm not going to become an MMO streamer. I'm just, no, I, I prefer having a bit of variety. Streaming is my time to work through my gaming backlog, if nothing else. Um... Maybe not. Could always play Sonic Adventure 1. It's not that big. Fair enough. It's basically any game with waifu. Yeah, fair enough. Also, hail Palomino. Welcome. And yeah, I suppose that, that certainly puts it up the list. How is it so hard to find Luminous Stone? I've been finding the blighters throughout my entire playthrough and now I can't find a single one. I would look through some more of these blasted things then. Right. Um, luminous stones. Stones. What's the main? The Yanaga hideout. The Kuzu River. Okay. Faron Tower. Not sure. We'll try that. Anything to save me the monotony of running around not knowing what I'm doing. Um, oh, that's a shrine. Where's the Baron Tower? That one? That's the Baron Tower. Cool. Who was my Mass Effect waifu? The one I ended up marrying was... Um, Ali. Ali Zora Vanaraya. I, I think that was her name at any rate. I romanced Lana, uh, Lana in the first one, and then it was Tally all the way from that point on. <laughs> I suppose while I'm here... Behold, simple-minded fools, it is I, Majora, your god! Huzzah! Blah! I'm stealing all of these Jordians! Blah! Well... Uh, 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 uh. What was I doing? Oh, I was looking for luminous stones, wasn't I? Well, I might as well look for some hearty Jordians while we're at it. We go.
Right, you know what? I should have just done this from the outset. So, as I was saying about finding the last handful of luminous stones. <laughs> uh, oh, this is killing me. Would you play Metal Gear Solid Rising without playing the others? Rising's Revengeance, the the one following Raiden? Raiden? The samurai sword dude. I mean, possibly? I, I have been tempted to play it for years, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, I've just dived into the Crater of Death Mountain. Fantastic. Good job, Ezio. Let, let's not do that. That's a surefire way to a burning death. I mean, maybe. I think Metal Gear Solid's another franchise I really should play at some point. I played some of the first one, and then I got into a boss fight with a helicopter on top of a tower, and I rage quit and never returned to the game. One day I really should. Um... I think I remember this one. Yes, yes, I found some. I do remember play when playing Metal Gear Solid 1, though, that I really liked the woman who would save the game for me. I remember her name. But I very much liked her. Um, there we go. Well done, Mr. Talis. I will get to you in a moment. Problem solved. Ooh, some more. Ore. Mine. Ooh, and a couple of diamonds. Nice. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. How did that not kill me instantly? <laughs> Meryl, I believe. Yes, it was Meryl. Now, yes, yes, that was her. Uh, yeah, save the jury bill, Simon. No, was it Meryl? No, no, no. I don't think it was Meryl actually. Meryl was the doctor, wasn't it? It was a Chinese woman. It was Chu Lin or something. I only ever went the hots for Sniper Wolf as well, but I never met her, so I couldn't tell. Once again, really should play that game at some point. Hello? Are you luminous or just generic? At this point, I've probably got more than enough luminous stone. I'm just being greedy. <laughs> Mailing! That's it. No, Meryl was um, Snake's love interest in that game. And she gives you a bandana, apparently, and you get ultimate ammo or something. I need a sort of butterfly from Death Mountain. Well, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, then. Oh. 